Well, hello, America. It is great to be back with so many patriots dedicated to faith and freedom and the road to the majority. And I want to thank my friend Ralph Reed for those overly generous words. I'm deeply humbled by them. And Ralph Reed knows me well enough to know the introduction I prefer is a little bit shorter. I'm a Christian, a conservative, and a Republican in that order, and I am honored to stand before you today. And I'm humbled to share the podium today with so many great leaders. Has this been a great morning or what? And I'm also honored to be here with so many pillars of the American faith community. Thank you for your ministries. I'll always believe that there will be no podium that those of us in elected office ever stand behind that will be more important to the life of the nation than the pulpits that you stand behind. And we thank you for your ministry in the cause of Christ. And finally, it's a special joy for me to be here today with a, a Marine Corps mom, a Christian school teacher, a champion of military families, a new grandmother, and my wife of 36 years, the best second lady this country has ever had. Will you join me in welcoming Karen Pence? And she's something. You know, we came here today really for two reasons. First and foremost, we wanted to say thank you. Thank you for your support over the past four years. And thank you for your prayers. I can tell you the sweetest words we ever heard over the last four years when people would stop and say, I'm praying for you. And we heard it all the time. There never was a day that Karen and I didn't feel the prayers of faithful Americans, and we thank you for it. And let me also say, thank you for the privilege of serving as your vice president with President Donald Trump. It was the greatest honor of my life.